welcome back to another video. Hilary and I are in Napdale and we're going beaver spotting. So it's very unlikely we're going to see them because it's the middle of the day. Usually you can see them at dawn or dusk, but we'll probably see some evidence of beavers here. So they're reintroduced here, I think in 19... Uh, oh, I can't remember. I'll put that on the video. <laughs> Uh, I just read it as well and I've forgotten already, but they were reintroduced here a good few years ago. So this is my third visit here. Never seen a beaver. I and mean, you can do a beaver tour with a, a ranger, but they don't start until next Wednesday. So we're a wee bit too early for that. But hopefully, hopefully we'll see some evidence. And it's a nice walk. It's about three and a half miles round about the loch. So I'm um, looking forward to it. Just lovely gear. What a lovely day. In 2009, the area around Knapdale Forest was chosen for a very special project. The plan was to reintroduce a beaver population into the wild in Scotland and scientifically monitor their impact on the environment. This has been a huge success. 400 years after being hunted to extinction, these hardy river dwellers are back in Scotland, making good use of the native woodland for building their dams and lodges. Like the beavers have been making a dam there. So just show you there's some beaver activity here. Look what they've done to this tree here. So there's a massive beaver lodge, I don't know if you can see it, just up at the end of that wee point there. Um, it's absolutely massive, you can see it from the other side. So obviously that's the lodge the beavers maybe live in. And a lovely wee island there. Just there. No signs of any beavers. I think we're probably too noisy. But gorgeous. It's so quiet here. Apart from us. More beaver activity, my goodness. That's the big one. Gee. <laughs> Another one over here. I wonder they've not chewed the picnic bench. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good one. That's so good.
Beautiful views. No beavers though. Not to worry. So that's Hilary and I finished our walk round about the Napdale Beaver Loch and we didn't see any beavers but we didn't expect to so we've had a really nice walk. So I'm just doing a short walk at the back of Crinan, up into Crinan Woods and just look at that view, wow, so I just climbed up the hill at the back. So that's the Crinan Hotel over there and that's Scarba and then Jura and the Corrie Vrecken is just in between the two islands. Sweet viewpoints. Wow, look at that. Lovely. So this is the New York ruins where the men that built the canal were housed along here.
few. canal down there, just heading right along there, and that's Moyne Moor, the Scottish National Heritage Moorland. Oh wow, that's looking up towards Kilmartin and Kilmartin Glen, right round. And you can see Scarba over there. And Jura. And the hotel's just tucked down the back there, I think. <laughs> oh, just amazing. Wow. What a view. Super. Lovely view down here. There's just so many nice views. That's the New York village down there that we were down at earlier. And we came down from the woods at the other side into it. And then a way up and round. But look at that view. Maybe not so nice today without the blue sky. So that's me back down at the canal level now. That was a nice wee walk in Crinan Wood, Scotland's rainforest. So it was lovely. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.